After you have now seen how the grooming system inside of Houdini works, we now can talk about planting bristles. The interesting thing with the bristles on a toothbrush is that they all emit from points because they are grouped together and you have these clumps or chunks of bristles coming from one point. And so we want to plant them exactly here like this on the toothbrush. For this we first need a skin which we want to use and you don't need to use the whole toothbrush as a skin. It's much more effective only to use the area which you really want to groom and then we have to lay out points here and what I also want to do is we have long and short bristles and this is also something we have to plan. So let's get started in this file here. I add for this a helper geo so let's name this bristles and dive into that. And I've switched here my viewport settings to hide other objects so that I really see what I'm working with. And because we are now in an empty container, we don't see anything. Now let's build the skin where we want to plant it. For this, we need our toothbrush. And for this, there's a node inside of Houdini with the name object merge. With the help of object merge, you can merge a geometry or a stream from another container into this container. That's exactly what we want to do. So let's select the object here. I go here to the picker and what we need is our brush. And here we see our null objects outputs and we take the low poly brush here and merge it in and name this import brush so that we later know what we are doing. One little side note at this point. Let's do something. I go here to my brush and I change here the translation. For example, I go here and say I want to translate it two units up. And if we now compare these two brushes here, this is the brush which we use and this is the bristles brush which we imported, you see that we have a difference in the position in space. The thing is that this transformation which you've placed on the container here is not translated to the null object which is inside here of the container. The position here is still at the origin point of our world. And as the object merge now reads in this data, you will see that you lose this transformation. If you really need this transformation, what we don't want in our case, but it's only for demonstration sake, you have to go here to transform and tell now the system that we want to transform into this object and then you see your toothbrush now goes into the position where the container of the original object is placed. But that's only for demonstration purposes so I switch this back now to none and I go here to the translate and bring it back to zero and then we can start here again. Okay. Now we have to decide where we want to have our skin and where we want to plant it. And one important side note, the grooming system uses the skin for placing hair and guides. And you can't place guides somewhere else. So if you now define a skin which is too small and you later generate your hair, the borders of the skin will cut your hair. So be aware that you have to think about the final hair to have enough skin around your area that you get all the hair you later need. So let's define now the area which we want. So I go to the select tool into the polygon selection. I switch here now to the top view and in the selection tool I activate here with shift V or this click here select visible geometry only so that we only get polygons here from the top and then I start selecting. If you want you can use here your brush selection. So if you click this you have a brush and you see a really small radius here around my mouse cursor and you can change this radius if you like. So you can go here to the radius and say yeah I need it a little bit bigger and then you can draw your selection here. Maybe that's a nice way of selecting. So let's select here this area and I select a little bit more than I need because I don't want that my 
hair is later cut it somewhere i really want the chance that it goes really completely to the edges here so spacebar one let's take a look yeah we've selected everything we need here maybe a little bit more here because i want to place here some bristles and we need here this area also so let's paint over this here really fast only to make sure to have everything yeah i think that's nice and then we can now blast away everything which we don't need so let's add a blast note but if we add now the note here the selection is gone so we add the note over the viewport so type in blast okay enter and now you see your selection is now transferred into the group field of your node. Now the area which we want to keep is gone. So inside of the blast node, we have here an option delete non-select. And if you tick this, the blast node deletes the opposite, which is great. So this is our skin, which we want to use now. And now we can start placing the bristles. And if you have watched my first lesson about the grooming system, you remember that we can place guides on points of a skin. And so what I'm after now is I want to have now points in a pattern which I later use for the guides. So let's go in here and say I want to subdivide the whole thing. So shift enter to get some more points here. Nice. And now I think I have enough here to build my pattern. For this, we have now two patterns. I need longer hair at the outside and smaller hair in the middle. So this takes some time. So I go now to the points mode. I have still selecting here visible elements only on. And now let's think about a pattern for the long hair. So I go in here and say, I want to end, for example, here, let's Take a look here in perspective where it would be. Mm, here maybe it's a good idea to end. Yeah, and then yeah, make three of them. And then I go here in this direction. And to be la now a little bit faster, we can use a little trick. I control click this point here and to go a little bit outside. Yeah, maybe something like that. Mm, yeah, it's okay. To do now a selection from here to here, we can use the A key on our keyboard. So if you want to select from this point on here, for example, to this point, you can hold down the A key. Don't forget to also hold down the Shift key because you have a selection and you want to add to this selection. And now you see Houdini tries to figure out now directions. And sometimes you have to help the system first a little bit. Yeah. To select this point here first. And then we go here, select these here. And then I go to this point here. And I don't want to close it. So let's go now to the other side here. One, two, one, two. Then that's this point here. And now we select these points here. And you can hold down the A key and the Shift key and select these here. I hope I've selected everything correctly. But I think it looks good for me. So this is the area where I want to have the long bristles. So now press the Tab key, type Group, Enter over the viewport again so that we get the selection here. We can name this. These are the long bristles so this is the name of the node but we also need the group name so we go here and say long group and that's it and now we have to select the short bristles so let's start selecting these so i go back here now to points mode and we start here and i deactivate all of these and yeah we can maybe first Make some box selections here. And yeah, we don't want to select these here because they are at the border of the skin. So if we plant here, here, they will be cut here. 
something I don't want. And I think, should it be? Maybe I've now selected also some areas which we have long here, but we can check this in a moment. So first make a group, say this is short and name the group again. And to check now groups, you can use here a tool on this toolbar here, display groups and attribute lists. You have to make sure that you're in points mode because these groups are always filtered by the selection mode which you're in. And if you click now here, you see now the two groups. And if you click here, you see they are colored. If the colors are not strong enough, you can click here this little color field and say, I want to have these here, for example, red and these here blue. Okay. Ah, blue is not the good idea. Take something yellowish. Okay. And now we really try to check what's going on. So these are the inners, these are the outers. And I think that it works. Yeah. Let's try it. What you also can do is you can use a color node if you like. Add the colors here to the points and do the same thing. So you can have red color here on the points, which are, for example, long. And then you take another color node. Oops, not inside of the color node. And we say we want to have the shorts. And these here maybe are green. And then you can uh, also look here, deactivate the groups for a moment if the colors are okay and if everything is in a group or not. So these are different ways of doing that. But yeah, I think that's okay for now. So now we have our groups here. And now I want to show you a little test setup because it's one thing, follow a tutorial where everything is prepared. But if you want to develop something like this, it's maybe good to have ideas how you can develop something like that. You have learned that guides are nothing else than splines. So let's add splines to our points and take a look how something like this maybe looks. So for this, we can now use our new groups. So let's first make a line. And a line is a spline here. And this spline is really long as you see here. So make it short, 0.1 for example. Yeah, that's our first line. It's only two points, but that's okay for our demonstration here. And this is our short hair. And now we take a copy to points node, take this line here and copy it on the points. We don't want to have the transformation here of the points because we don't have one. So deactivate transform using target point orientation. So everything is looking upwards. Nice. And we don't want to have now the line everywhere. So we go here now to the group and we say here only where the long hair is. Okay. So this is the long hair. And then we do the same thing again. We copy the line here, I hold down the Option or Alt key on my keyboard to make a copy of that and make this line a little bit shorter, 0 0.05. Then we take again a copy to points node, take this shorter line here, take the stream again. We have the same result like before. We don't want to use the orientation and then we go here and say we want to have only these lines on short. And after you've done now this, we have two streams here and we can then merge them together. I select these two here, bring them down and now take a look here. And this is now the idea which we have for the packs of bristles we want later to have in the grooming system. And so now you can play with that here and try to understand how it works. Maybe you see gaps here which you want to fix and so on. And if you've done all this here as a development step, you can take this whole setup here, move it to the side. We don't use it now, but it's a good playground for you. And then we add here a null object at the end. We now name it bristles, color it with the C key black here. 
and this is the output which we want and if you now hold down your middle mouse button you see we get all the points here we get the skin because we need the skin for our grooming system but on the points here we have now the roots where we want to place our hair in the next lesson so let's leave this note here we don't want to see it because in the moment we get an overlapping uh, geometry here it's only a helper node so deactivate the visibility and in the next lesson we now start grooming on this skin see you again